I need backup. Drop the gun, crazy lady. What's going on, folks? It is your guy, Very High, with another LSPDFR installation and mod tutorial gameplay video. We're installing the basic parking enforcement, go get them, pay and display tickets and more beta mod by Thrust over on LSPDFR.com. It's a pretty cool mod. It's got a ticketing menu when you're close. You can view uh, previous tickets, check a vehicle's parking ticket history, customize tickets, customize offenses, view tickets, edit streets that require payments and whatever, whatnot. And my favorite one that I'm looking forward to is get attacked rarely by drivers who hate you now because you ticketed them. So it has some files we can adjust in the XML. You can customize what kind of traffic offenses you can cite for. And once you start the game, it will create a streets.xml. It'll generate after you first run it, which contains your selection of streets where payments for parking are not required. So to launch it is F5 and a basic menu in general, you can uh, to give out tickets is Q. So we can adjust these settings as well. It's a really easy install and it's a really small file at 18.69 kilobits. Make sure to download the file by clicking on this little blue download link, agree to the download. And once you've got it downloaded, you'll have something like this. So inside of your archive, click on your Grand Theft Auto 5 folder. And what we're gonna do is drag this to our main GTA 5 directory. So I'm gonna right click my start menu here or start button <clears throat> and look for file explore once that pops open we're going to look for the c drive because mine's located on my c drive in program files for epic games gta 5 here we go and you see we have a plugins folder here so all we're going to do is drag this plugin folder from our archive to our main directory and i've already installed it let's go ahead and for the sake of science overwrite it now we can click on our plugins uh, menu uh, folder in our main directory lspdfr and we can check that we have the basic parking enforcement folder with offenses.xml here you can customize what offenses uh, people can get cited for and then we're going to look for the configuration settings file the basic parking enforcement.ini we're going to open this up and edit it edit it in just notepad something basic and uh, what we want to do is we want to change the ticket menu key so it says we can also use any other virtual key codes found at a link here in the document if you don't want to use f5 or q you can use any other keys on the keyboard as long as they fall within these valid key codes so the standard key for the menu is f5 the general menu key is q and if you don't want a modifier, leave none. A modifier would mean, say you had to hold left control and then hit a key. But we're not doing that. I'm just gonna change F5 to F6. I already have something attached to F5. We're gonna leave Q as is. And then what we wanna do is, if you wanted to, you can change the currency. Um, we're gonna leave it USD, but they do provide a link to, uh, so you can change the currency code to whatever country it is you may be playing in. Uh, our play animation is true and random attacks also true. Very basic. We're going to save that. Control S or just file save. Close it out. And there you go. We've just installed it. Let's go ahead and hop into Los Santos and let's go ahead and hit the block. And then let's go ahead and say let's go ahead a couple more times and then hop into a car and give out some citations. Alrighty, we are now in Los Santos. We are on duty. And now we're going to demonstrate the keys to launch the menu I'm gonna hit F6 you can't check on police vehicles so that's for when we're near vehicles I'm also going to hit Q and you'll see that we can now open our basic parking tickets menu we can edit zones to check on a vehicle press S F5 next to it it says tickets given out this shift we can check on those let's hit edit zones all right so Caesars Palace ticket required here So there you go. We're just gonna hit up a couple of cars, check their verification. Uh, I'm just gonna see what the mod can do. I don't know what I'm talking about. <laughs> uh, but they're definitely barking, blocking a parking space right there. Dispatch, can I get a pet check on a Feltzer 2? 87W2U942. Two citations, they have two. 
Citations. So we're going to hit F5 right now. I mean F6, right? Check if the vehicle has a valid parking ticket. Okay, valid for 6 hours and 16 minutes. So it does have a parking ticket for Caesar's Palace. I have no idea where that is. Uh, vehicle check to dispatch. We can do that again. It's going to come back the same, I believe. Okay. Let's check their parking offense history. Status paid, offenses, prohibited zone, no parking anytime. Another ticket, violation of distances, parked within 50 feet of rail crossing. The last ticket here is paid, ticket violations, <clears throat> no ticket prison, prohibited zones, parked on handicap space. This person does not care. Uh, other parking violation, 40 bucks. Okay, well, they're definitely about to get... Okay, so they're in Caesar's Palace. A ticket is required. Okay, they got to get a ticket. They're just parked in front of this, uh, you know, driveway here, parking some, blocking some parking spots. So let's see what the prohibited zones are again. Parked in a bus zone, parked in a fire lane, parked in reserved zone. We're going to call this reserved zone. Let's see, emergency, no parking zone, and a tow-away zone, no parking anytime, parked in a school zone, parked in a handicap space. Okay, so they are in a reserved zone. Somebody has to park the car here. They're blocking, let's see, uh, parked, blocking, private driveway. Blocking or parked on sidewalk, parked, obstructing street, double parked, parked in dedicated bicycle lane, parked on lawn, parked large vehicle in residential zone, and blocking emergency vehicles. We're going to say parked blocking private driveway. We've got a suspect on the run in West Vinewood. Okay. We'll get to that after this. Uh, okay. Units respond code 2. All right. Let's go ahead and submit that ticket. All right. It says total offense uh, $85 for offenses parked in reserve zone and parked blocking private driveway. Now the reserve zone part, probably unnecessary. Probably did not need to do that. But there you go, now if I hit Q, tickets given out this shift we can take a look at. Ticket number 1457 for $85. Not paid, parked in reserved zone. All right, so uh, actually, you know what? We're just going to get this thing towed. And do it moving. Tow truck. Assistance required in Rockford Hills. Now this guy right here is obviously blocking the drive. So we're going to check for any valid parking tickets. There are none. Vehicle check to dispatch. Dispatch can get a plate check. Target vehicle license plate. No insurance. To the X-ray Frank Ocean 256. A traffic violation. Okay, caution. parking offense history. Oh, they've got some parked in a bus zone, parked on a lawn, obstruction of a street, double parking, parked in under 18 inches from right hand curb. Dude, I should have hit that dude with that. He was parked in the dang street, pretty much. Oh, not paid. You got unpaid parking tickets, man. Okay, it is blocking a uh, private driveway. Okay, I think that's pretty much it. It's a uh, you can check the tickets we've given out, and maybe over time, we'll uh, we'll come back, give it some time. We'll come back and oh shoot, and see if they've been paid off. Let's go, uh, let's go stop this madman real quick, and then we'll get back and uh, we'll see if any uh, tickets have been paid off. So Asian female wearing a pink tank top or pink shirt. I need backup. Drop the gun, crazy lady. Okay, suspect down. Let's go ahead and hit Q. Tickets given out. Still unpaid. Still not paid. Let's uh, let's run time forward a little bit. 
with open or open trainer. No, simple trainer. It's gonna move time forward. One, two, three, four. Okay. Just move time by by four hours. I have a sucker in my mouth. Whoa, those people are stuck up in that canopy. All right, let's go ahead, hit Q. Tickets given, still unpaid. Mm. Ticket expired. Oh wait, no, that's why they got a ticket. Okay. So basically, that is the basic parking enforcement. Go get them, pain display, tickets, and more mod in a nutshell. Shout out to Thrills over on lspdfrmods.com. And if you want to know how to modify your Grand Theft Auto so that you can play LSPDFR, check out my GTA 5 2022 installation guide and tutorial to get you everything you need to modify that GTA V experience. And if you want to know how to install and get down with some LSPDFR mods, Rage Plugin Hook, Go and holler at my tutorial videos for that. And we've got some gameplay to go around as well. I am your guy. V3RY, H1 to the GH, very high. And until the next time for GTA 5 and LSPDFR, stay safe, stay dangerous. And don't forget to stay high. Peace.